Hi there, how are you guys? Welcome to Construction Class with Jason Holsey. Today we have a job in Somewheresville, Texas, and this is a major remodel on this house. You can see all the, the flooring's gone. They, they're they uh, doing a pretty deep dive into getting this house uh, just the way they like it. And so the object here today, back up just a little bit, um, is to uh, take out these columns here. And you know, kind of when you come downstairs and turn the corner, you have a wall that divides this this room here from this room here, and then uh, so they just kind of open the thing up. And so we have a pretty uh, he we have a heavy house, and so in a long span. And so this will be a, sh a shot of us installing two beams to be able to carry the weight over a long distance. So um, removing here. You can see that we have a shoring post in carrying the weight of this bridge. We have a bridge, which is a hallway that comes across and ties into this other existing structure. And so we need to carry the weight of that. And then back here we have our shoring material. And so uh, lots of six foot ladders. We've opened it up and gotten the framing out of the way in order to get this span clear so that we can put our beam in here. And so you can see we have lots and lots of shoring material. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shoring posts in here. So that's a lot. I mean, it's a it's a heavy house. It's a big span. It's a lot of weight. Um, so right here the beam comes in. And you can see the beam is not doesn't have anything in it right now. So we bring the beam in, put it in place, and it's so big and heavy that we want to move it as much as we can the long distance from the truck to the house without any extra weight on it. A lot of times we pack the beams outside, but in this case it's pretty big and heavy, so we want to bring it in the house on the sawhorses to pack it out. So it's packed now, and uh, we take the first beam. Now look, this beam right here, it just went into place. Let me back up just a little bit. You can see that guy. Um, Right there, that beam just went into place. It is not packed on the inside, so we're packing the outside. So we don't pack, by pack I mean fill, backfill with wood and shoot um, the wood onto the beam with a Hilti powder actuated nailer. And so the beam is put in place right here, but the inside's not filled because those two beams are gonna be sandwiched together. So what you're seeing is the inside of one beam and it's not packed out and it'll mesh it'll mesh up with the inside of the other beam and then we weld the two beams together so you'll see here in just a second the two beams are sitting like this and we'll just come down and weld down the length of the beam so let's move into that here we go right here and so the second beam went up and now it's in place and so you got two beams side by side so one beam is carrying this load the t load that's tied into it so this load that's on this bridge and, and we use two beams in cases where the span's too long and we would have to, the, otherwise the beam would be too deep to be in the space or it would be so heavy that we couldn't move it in there by hand. And so in the two, on the two beam scenarios we do that when the span is too long to be carried by one beam that we can safely handle into space, into place. And so right here, the guys are coming in and welding these two beams together to make them move as one. And so we come in and weld about six or eight inches of, uh, of beam every six or eight inches. And so they just work their way down the beam, welding it up. And so there you go. That's the story of two beams and how we use those guys to work together. Now these guys are finishing up here and you can see at the end when we're done, here are the wires for the project, for all the switches and plugs that were in the walls that we've removed. And we just leave them hanging down. They're still in their boxes, they're still functional. And so if you, it, when your electrician comes, we try to do this so that we can make it easy on him in order to uh, reroute the circuits in a way that is uh, speedy where he can tell what's going on rather than coming into a big um, mess of cut wires. All right, thanks for stopping by for this brief explanation on two beams. Low Baron Wall Pros. We are the pros.